Teresa of Avila, patron saint of Via Negativa. We all feel like magical realism, as if we may ascend like Remedios Mascote. Maybe we haven't fathers to show us something pedestrian, like ice, nor the trajectory of a firing squad. We at least have environmental determinism. We've droughted, oh, how we've parched, gasped, whooped and hollered for fate to darken the door, the welcome mats with snakes, the don't tread on me. What do we know of climate change, really? Or, for that matter, fog around old priest grade, like lace, like very old lace, like lace made carefully, then stored carelessly. Lace as holy as theories of history, or God. During the drought, any time before the internet, Teresa of Avila came to me in dreams. Above me like someone gutting a trout with the wrong knife, but still with deafness and speed. St. John got the story wrong. Oh, Johnny Angel. The fog slow dances with the stocking slews. What hubris to make salmon or trout without something to butter up. Teresa approaches me these days like a lover who already knows her body's cosmos and my worldliness. She moves more succinctly, efficiently, without ceremony. I'd like to say I feel graced. I do not. Only more poignantly attuned to things I cannot do, mantles I do not possess, gracing a presence, mending fabric, martyrdom.